a friend was narrating the story to me he was in the army before and he saw this scene in front of his eyes he saw that a soldier had committed some mistake and one of his seniors he came and gave him a punishment and the punishment was that this soldier had to stand right in the sun and keep saluting all day it was extremely hot and it was a very heavy punishment and so he was standing there dutifully accepting the punishment in the right spirit and saluting and as he was continuing suddenly on a surprise visit one of the very senior members of the army came there and this person came and he started asking the question what is this ridiculous scene i am seeing this person is standing in the sun and saluting no one what's going on who gave this order so the officer who had given that order as a punishment came forward and said sir i have given this order to reform him he made this mistake so the senior army officer looked at him and said do you know the rule in the army that anyone he is giving a salute there must be someone to receive the salute also and since you gave the order you stand right in front of him and receive and accept the salute what began as a small punishment landed up taking this person also into that loop and that is the effect of vengeance many times when we begin activities in a certain way we may think that i'll get away with it but the situation turns in a way that we are also implicated in due course of time therefore we have to appreciate that we have very limited time in life if we carry our life with so many grudges in our heart and feelings of vengeance towards so many people we will be completely filled with negativity and that negativity will eat away the very core of our existence and we will experience only anxiety and pain duryodhan is a classic example of someone with this kind of vengeance all yudhishthir maharaj asked for was five villages but duryodhan his heart was filled with so much of vengeance against the pandavas that he was constantly meditating how to overcome them how to defeat them how to stop them and because of this he was afraid that if i give five villages to the pandavas the entire world will come and settle there because the pandavas are so popular and therefore duryodhan refused that most insignificant offer of yudhishthir maharaj thus we find that what could have been settled at that moment went on to become a costly deadly war where 640 million soldiers died in the battle of kurukshetra dear friends the feelings of vengeance begin like a spark if it is not extinguished at that very moment it will turn out to become a huge conflagration and that forest fire will burn down so many trees so many people in society which is beyond our capacity to imagine let us control these feelings of vengeance and lead life with positivity Thank you.